Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be discussing my uh, general honest thoughts about Caspa and um, what I have thought about it before and how my uh, mind has changed uh, during the time. I have made the last video on Caspa eight months ago um, and then I said that I was wrong uh, and uh, happily, I luckily I bought at five cents so now I'm nearly up like almost 4x and all my VIPs as well. So I will be discussing uh, what my thoughts were at that time and what my uh, thoughts are this time. And uh, the price prediction, uh, is it is it can it really get to $10 uh, in this bull run or uh, is just basically a, a moon boy uh, estimation? So uh, so when, when it comes to uh, Caspa in the chat, like, um, so I was very skeptic uh, first uh, when I heard, like a lot of YouTubers talked about it. It, it's, it sound very, very scammy, very um, paid shilling to me back then um, when it was uh, this around 5.5 cents. This is where I bought it when I did my research afterwards. So um, it sounded for me because uh, it sounded very, uh, you know, moonboyish, very, very uh, paid shill. Like the amount of uh, YouTubers were, uh, you know, making videos on Caspa was just uh, very suspicious to me back then. And um, and I thought that they were all paid. Um, when I was when I was doing kind of research, even even up to date, I do not know. I do not. Ha I have not heard anyone that uh, Casp actually paid them for for the videos. So all those uh, donkeys that uh, in the comment section think uh, even even I got like a comment last time. You know, oh great, uh, finally great to see. Uh, you know, Casp paying YouTubers, bro. They they don't pay me nothing, and and I don't know. I think they don't pay any of the YouTubers. So. If the, the founder doesn't want to pay for exchange listings, why would he pay for uh, um, uh, YouTubers to talk about it? You know, he doesn't want to. I think he he did not pay for any of these, um, you know, exchanges. Uh, Jewish people don't really like to pay stuff, so uh, the founder is Jewish. Um, so uh, you know, eventually it's gonna get listed on Binance and Coinbase, but um, that's why they're still not there yet because they want to get paid. And these exchanges, smaller exchanges, are smart enough to understand that they're gonna be making it back uh, the money from the trading volume. But okay, let's get back to the chart. So uh, it was very uh, you know Moon Boys, uh, Moon Boy um, token at, at the time for me uh, when it was here at all time high, and basically like the market was so October twenty three. It was basically uh, here or like November, like beginning of November, this was an all-time high for Caspa. For me, it was like insanely unreal that how can a project be at all-time high when uh, everything else is down? Like this was, I think, the bottom of the like the, the, the bear market uh, previously, November 2023. Uh, everything was down, you know, uh, even uh, Bitcoin was down so much. Ethereum was down. So everything was, even Bitcoin, Ethereum was like 3, 4x down from their all-time highs. And fucking Caspa is at, at all-time high. Like, how is this possible? So, when you <clears throat> when you look at it, um, being in crypto for a very long time, you have you, you know like uh, uh, thoughts, and you know like uh, many projects obviously scam people and stuff. So you are kind of uh, you know careful with with projects and everything, and you know, you just think how uh, you know a project that is listed on only two T exchanges can be at all-time high when, it, when Ethereum and Bitcoin are uh, basically at uh, like 3 four x lower than the all-time high. It was very, very strange. For, for me, like it was, first of all, I'm telling you, like a boom boyish chart. The second is that the, I thought that they were paid like crazy. And the third is that uh, the, the chart is unreal. How can, how can a, a chart just only go up? And the corrections are like minor, like really like a 30, 40% corrections and it's going up. So it's basically correction-wise, um, you know, um, in the bull market is correcting like like bitcoin like a 30 30 40 percent but uh this was a total high when bitcoin ethereum was down so it's, it's it was insane for me like if if someone would come come to see this chart they would think that this is like a like a meme chart that was posted like i don't know not long ago and that is a honeypot because what is honeypot is basically the money that you can only like a contract set like that that you cannot sell only the founder the owners can sell or pull out the liquidity. So it's just something that it basically goes up forever. It lo looks very fake, very suspicious, but um, but it's just unreal. So uh, until something achieves this crazy results that Casper achieved, you 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 have to be a uh, little bit uh, you know on one foot. Like you you have to, it has to be suspicious because it's not normal, right? Like how can this be? This is this was back then like a. Top 50 or 60 at the market cap, and it's performing better than uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's very strange, right? So then I've uh, uh, you know done research, and uh, you know I, I changed my mind. Luckily, I bought here at uh, five cents, as I said, and in my VIP, so we're up like nearly four x on it. Um, 
the thing is, I think this this still has insane potential because what it matters is basically the the market cap, not at uh, what price it basically launched. Because if you if you zoom out here, you can see that uh, they were not uh, showing here a market cap. But uh, when it was when they started to show, it was about like twenty to thirty million market cap when it was uh, when when it was basically added to coin market cap. So um, twenty to thirty million. All the projects that that are listed on Binance and Coinbase, they already start with like a five hundred million market cap, most of them, and with like a five ten percent circulating supply. So fully diluted market cap is a five billion. They're all pre allocated pre allocated to the to the uh, you know um, whale investor institutional investors, and they just as as they get the tokens, they slowly slowly dump on your face, and they you know if they do ten x from the time of launch. That means that they have done uh, more or less 100x because they have bought a pre-sale. They have bought very early. Uh, it's like they bought here. When it launches uh, on Binance, it's here. And then, uh, you know, uh, if it does a 10x from here, you make a 10x, but they make a 100x because they bought here. So it's very, very, very shady. Uh, Caspa is a fair launch, so that's why it's uh, it's, it's unique. So one thing that, uh, you know, basically... Um, makes me like really really bullish so it's it's number one holding in my portfolio Casper. i have a hold huge bag and uh, i don't really hold actually like a, a huge market cap projects is caspa is the only one that is like a billion dollar market cap the rest of them is uh uh micro and mid cap uh, project that i truly believe in. so if you if you go here and basically compare it to um uh solana's all-time high so uh, solana's all-time high uh, is 21x from here if you take into consideration that Solana was uh, obviously Solana went through already one, uh, you know, uh, bear and bull market because it was uh, in the previous bull market as well. Caspa wasn't really um, seeing the whole bull market. Uh, it was launched um, in 2022, and the bull market ended in 2020 November 2021. So yeah, so this uh, Casper was launched after the bull market, which means that it has not seen a uh, real bull market yet. So if you if you compare here uh, to Solana, Solana back then uh, it wasn't that uh, uh, huge hype, it wasn't that uh, hu hugely adopted like it is today. So now uh, Solana is really used for everything. You know, I think uh, meme coins has pushed Solana into insane valuation, like where it is now. Um, it was much lower in rank. I think 15, 20 at the market cap now is in top, I think, fifth on market cap or something like that. Yeah, I think fifth, yeah. After, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, which is obviously stable coin, then BNB and Solana is the fifth. So if, and, and then uh, this is basically the, the, the price comparison uh, for, to Solana in the, from the previous bull market. So uh, this is Caspa's first bull market and this is Solana's second bull market. So if we, if Caspa only reaches to Solana's previous bull market is uh, 21X. But... The only difference is that uh, Solana in the previous bull market was already listed on Binance, and Caspa is not listed yet on Binance, and then the, the uh, and Coinbase and all these tier one exchanges. So the volume that is going to get, I think, is going to gain much, much, much uh, higher gains than uh, than Solana was. And if we and if we uh, just uh, check here um, uh, on Solana, um, Solana uh, at the peak peak was uh, two hundred and eighty three dollars. Now is one hundred and seventy three. In my opinion, I estimate uh, Solana to go between eight hundred to thousand dollars, maybe even one point two k in this bull run. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna go much 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 higher, in my opinion, than uh, you know the the previous all time high. And they are uh, talking about there, there are rumors as well that there is gonna be Solana ETF as well after Ethereum ETF. So that's gonna go absolutely crazy. So um, eight hundred to thousand dollars, I think, is a fad for for Solana. Like, uh, like really is. So, if the, so, if if it gets to a thousand dollars, that would be a three x on top of the all time high. So, if we go back here and uh, see if it's uh, Casper, uh, you know, uh, compared to Solana uh, for, to the all time high from the previous bull run, it's twenty one x. If it if it does three times more, that would be a sixty x uh, to Casper. And um, Again, I'm telling you, at that time, Casp, uh, Solana was already listed on, uh, you know, uh, all the tier uh, one exchanges. So comparing it, it could really do a 60x, but uh, plus, uh, you know, uh, don't forget the volume as well. So which is very strange. If you if you go here and uh, basically check uh, the coin market cap and basically compare the volume uh, compared to the market cap uh, that are similar market cap than um, Caspa is, all of the projects, all the other projects that are uh, at the similar similar market cap, they are all listed on uh, on uh, you know Binance, uh, Coinbase. At least at least on Binance, all of these projects are listed on Binance. So 
the amount of volume that there uh, the other projects have is just uncomparable. So you can see here. So Casper is 4.3 billion market cap, and uh, all these from Polygon, Pepe, Uniswap, you know, ICP, ICP is shit in my opinion, but anyway, um, they are uh, you know very close in market cap. So it is four four uh, billion, and the Polygon is five, so 4.3 and 5. So like uh, you know, pretty much like one million uh, plus plus uh, in, in market cap. So look at the volume comparison to Casper. So Casper is 4.3 billion dollar market cap and has only 43 million dollar 24 volume which is one percent of the market cap so when we go to uh, icp which is almost the same market cap has already double amount of uh, volume uh because it's on binance if you go to uniswap 155 uh, a million which is three times more in volume than uh caspa and it's only 300 million market cap more so and if we go on and on, you know, uh, uh, Pepe is 906 million, which is um, 20x more volume on Pepe than what it is on Caspa. It's insane. Why? Because they're all listed on, on Binance. So what I'm trying to say, when, when it gets listed to Binance, the amount of volume is going to come in. It's going to be insane. And if you go back here and, and considering that uh, there is only 1% of the buy uh, power uh, coming in for Caspa, and uh, for 4.3 billion, only 43 million is the volume. So, which means, and there is no selling, bro. Like this thing is just going up. So imagine if with these um, uh, small exchange listings and the, and the small volume, and, the, and if there is small volume, normally the price goes down because you know people people sell because you know there is not much uh, you know purchasing power, not much buy power. So people say, ah, it might not go up. But people believe so much in Casper that it's going to go high that it's just crazy. Nobody is selling. So, um, so again. Imagine if if it's if this gets listed on Binance and this is gonna get like a, probably like a two hundred a million dollar volume a day when it's gonna get listed on Binance. This is gonna go to insane valuation, insane valuation. So I truly believe that uh, Casper still has a lot of potential. So in my opinion, it's it can get to it can get to forty to fifty x. So if we if we uh, looking at uh, the pr price wise, um, if it's if it does a uh, ten x from here, it's one point seven dollars. If it does a 20, it's 3.4. So it could get, uh, so, you know, $1 is a FUD, in my opinion. $2 is very, very much, uh, you know, in, in possibility. $3 is, uh, is, is good. From $4, really good. And then anything above $4 is, is a gift. So if we count uh, from uh, uh, 17.7 7 cents, if it does a 30x, would be $5. If it does, um, 40x would be seven dollars. So um, I think it's a really, really safe bet, uh, considering that the smart contracts are still uh, not out yet, not fully functioning. So um, when when all that, when smart contracts are, comes out as well, and they have gets much more use case, you know, or meme coins come out as well, legit meme coins that gonna push goes to like a billion dollar valuation, like uh, how we got like Brett on buy on base chain and so on. This is gonna go insane. So. Uh, even ten dollars is possible if it's gonna go absolutely nuts. But uh, you know, uh, three to five dollars is 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 uh, is is absolutely a very possibility. So guys, I'm really bullish on it, and I hope it does a 40x because I will be mega rich then. So uh, yeah, I hope you you hold hold a good bag as well, a big bag as well, and uh, yeah, wish everyone to become a millionaire from Casper. So guys, uh, huge huge pump is coming for us. So just. Uh, Bye, sit back and enjoy the ride. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye bye.